Story so time. This is a story I want you guys to hear. So today, I'm in my barber shop, and I'm talking to a particular mother. And the mother is yelling at the son about how he behaves, the things he's doing with his life, and how much of a bad child he is. All of a sudden, the, I told the lady, the problem with a lot of women nowadays is they emasculate their boys by the way they talk to them. A lot of women, they talk so negative to their sons that it emasculates them because of the fact that boys hold a special space in their heart for their mothers. So a mother, it takes a mother to break a boy. And then when a boy meets a woman later in life, she can only break him also because when a man gives his heart, he gives his vulnerability. And when he gives his vulnerability, he can be hurt extremely. It's like that person can become his kryptonite. That's why most men don't like to be vulnerable when it comes to telling women personal things. Now, further in this conversation, I'm telling the mother she's sitting there talking crazy about all how he behaves. I said, miss, when y'all masculate these boys, she said, I don't do that. The boy stood up, started crying, bawling, and said, you do do that. And you call me every name that I don't want to be called. And on top of it, every time I go to school, I, I misbehave because of the way you talk to me. I looked at that poor young man and said, come here and give me a hug. I hugged this young man. And while I'm hugging him, I looked at her and said, you have no idea what, what it takes to be a man. But yet and still you emasculate this boy and tell him what he's not. When you don't know the standards and what society say that a, a boy or a man has to do to be a man. I said, it's unfair. I said, but yet and still you're going to have this conversation and you're not going to hear the boy is crying out with pain. Because you're going to make it about how you feel. And you're going to personalize this conversation rather than try to learn your child. You're going to tell your child that just, oh, you just acting up. Or are they going to call the word sassy? That is not sassy. That's a, a boy in pain. But let me guess. We're going to continue this verbal abuse into the, to the end of time and act like this is not a realistic thing that's going on every single day. It's verbal abuse. A lot of these mothers are verbally abusing their children with the way they talk to them. And it's unfair. And, and prominently, I feel sorry for that young man because he's outside misbehaving because of the way you make him feel. You don't respect him. You don't talk to him with respect. And then the nerve she had throughout this conversation is to compare him to a man that she believes in her head as a man that she's never had, never brought around him, and he's never seen. But yet and still, you're comparing this young man to a man. And you're telling them what a real man is. But you, your objective woman is to, or ladies is to give this boy an example. You didn't give him no examples, but you're going to still talk bad about this boy. And then we continue the verbal abuse. And if a boy says it makes him feel a way, he's considered sassy. This is a major dilemma and a major problem we need to fix and address. I'm suggesting, ladies, you, you learn how to tame your mouth because a lot of things you guys say, it affects men more than they give light. And it takes a real man like me to acknowledge it. So to my men on this, this, that's watching this video, like and share this video. But I want to tell you I understand. Emasculation is real, and it's not easy being a man. But we're gonna keep fighting and keep doing what we have to do. And if a woman don't visually see you as the man that you are, my brother, I want you to know, my, I see you. Till next time, don't let that go over your head.